So let's create amazing printables with Canva so that you can sell it on your Etsy store. Hey guys, welcome back to another video tutorial. Today we'll be showing you how to step by step create your own uh, printables um, on uh, Canva uh, that you can sell on your Etsy store. So posters are a really trendy niche um, that a lot of people are interested in. A lot of clients like to buy these posters to place obviously in their workplace or wherever at home. There's lots of different niches um, and different types of printables that you can create. Uh, one that I find is really, really uh, popular is uh, motivational posters. Um, you can see some of these um, suppliers have sold thousands upon thousands of posters. Uh, and a lot of them aren't too too difficult to create. A lot of them are just simple plain text um, with some uh, a very plain background. Um, but for motivational um statements, motivational quotes, that's basically all people are wanting. They just want a specific quote on their wall um, to motivate them to do their job at home, go to the gym or you know anything like that. So to begin of, of course we'll need some inspiration ourselves and with a quick Google search of motivational quotes uh, we've got a very long list here of different quotes that we can use um, as our main text in our printable uh, poster. So after scrolling through a few options, um, again you can choose anything you want. Um, have a good look and see if you can find that one that uh, find one that you like. So this this quote here looks great. It's never too late to be what you might have been. So I'll be using this quote here to be making a, a cool and hopefully eye catching um, poster on Canva, um, so that you can sell it as a printable product. So here we are on Canva. Of course, um, I'm sure you've been in Canva before. Um, if not, um, you can just go to the homepage canva.com and you can create your account in the top right corner. You can log in or sign up in the top right and once you have your account, um, this will be your homepage. Um, to start, you can type in here what you're looking for. If I type in poster, for example, I'll get some templates of posters. Um, now, we don't want to be using the templates uh, as, as Canva doesn't allow you to resell these, but you can certainly look at them for some ideas if you see anything that you like. Now I'm going to jump straight into creating a design and I'll be inputting a custom size. So I'll ask you if what your custom size is. Uh, we're going to put it in inches um, and we're going to do uh, an A4 size of a uh, poster. Of course you can change this um, to any width and height um, depending on the poster you want to provide and we can show you at the end how uh, we can change this as well. So um, we'll do an 8 by 10 inches um, as that's what typically is an A4 um, size of print um, poster and uh, that's us here. So this is our blank canvas of course. So as I say our um, poster is going to be mainly text based um, and I'm going to put some uh, images and elements in as well. So to begin um, all we're going to do is click to the left hand side and click text. If you scroll here to the left there's lots of different options to use. We're going to stay away from the crowns because that is the pro version of Canva. Uh, you do have to pay for that. Um, but there's plenty of other good options that are totally free. So remember our quote is, it's never too late to be what you might have been. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break that sentence up into different different lines. Um, I think what makes some of the posters quite eye-catching is using different fonts. Um, so the first font I'm going to use is something that's quite bold. Um, I think Swirly font's also very good, so we'll be using a combination of different fonts over here. Of course, you don't need to use this. You can simply add a text box and type in whatever you want, and then you can just choose your font over here and just scrolling through the options. And doing this is, is, is perfectly fine. You'll be able to find one that you like as well. Okay, this is going to be my first sentence here. Uh, and what we can do is uh, make sure it's centered so we can just use the ruler snapping um, that Canva has automatically, of course. You can click the top right and then go to center here. Now I'm going to make this obviously uh, a lot bigger. I'm going to scale it up just by using this tool here um, to make it a bit more centered. And again, I can click position and center it one more time. I like the swirly font here, so I'm going to click this and um, I'm going to delete this subheading at the top by clicking it and choosing the trash can. And I'm going to change uh, engaged <laughs> to the next line. Um, in this quote. So I'm going to change that to too late. Again, position this in the center um, using this tool here. And I can drag this up to here. Now what I think I'm going to add here actually is an element. Um, so if we go over here to the element tab, we can type anything we want uh, and it will show you some elements that we can put onto the template. So for example, if I wanted uh, a flower, um, there's uh, lots of different options that we can put in here just by clicking the image. What I want is actually something that's going to underline. And I'm going to click this option 
here. I'm going to scroll this up to make it a bit bigger and position it just under the too late. Again, center it. Oh, it's already centered. And I'm going to change the color. You can choose any color you want. You can use the top left corner here just to change it to any color that you wish. I think normally pastel colors are um, the best options to use. Um, so I'm going to maybe use a pastel purple. I think that looks pretty good. Now the next part of the quote is to be what you might have been. So I think I'm going to do to be as the next section. So I think it's important maybe to not put too many different styles of text. So I'm going to maybe stick to the same text here. So that's League Spartan. So I'm going to add a new text box. Let's scroll it down. I'm going to keep that as to be. I'm going to make that a lot bigger. Let's say 40. What's the size of that? 58.9, so I'll probably match that maybe. Now I'm going to put what in the next line, um, and I'm going to use this font again. So a quick way to do this is just hold Alt, and then it will let you drag and copy um, the, whatever you're clicking. So in this case, the font and the text. I'm going to double click onto this and change it to what? I'm going to make that a bit smaller, and just make sure it's positioned to the center. And then I'm going to repeat the process for this here, for the next line. Okay, cool. And just like that, if you look, we've got a quite an eye-catching um, poster. Um, what I'd like to do is obviously add a bit more to it. And um, because we're talking about time, I think I'm going to put in a clock as a nice element. So if we go to elements, and type in time. We can scroll through and see if there's one that we like. I like this one here. So I'm going to click this option, and I can drag it up to make it a bit bigger. And I might try and put this as a background almost. So I'm going to position it as in the center. And what I can do is click the transparency option and bring it quite low down. I can make it a bit bigger and position it again. What I think that happens is I think that gets a wee bit lost. So what I'm going to actually do is move this out. And I'm going to create a bit of space at the bottom for the clock. So I'm going to bring that down to the bottom. I'm going to bring the transparency up again. And I'm going to make this a bit smaller position it back to the center. Perfect. I think that looks, looks a lot better. Now what I'm going to do is actually move this text a wee bit higher. So by clicking this text box and going up to spacing, uh, we can choose to change the letter spacing, which can also look good. And I might uh, bring the line spacing up as well. Perfect. So I think that actually looks a little bit better. Now what I'm going to do is go back into the underline tab and the elements. I quite like this. I'm going to scroll this down and I'm going to actually put it just as a, a brush stroke behind um, the might have been. We're going to change the color and it saves the color in Canva what you've used before. So I'm going to click the same one as the underline at the top and that looks great. So next step is I'm going to just change this font actually a bit different. I'm going to make this box a lot longer on both sides so it's going to take the full width. And what I'm going to do now is go to spacing and space out the letters so they're a wee bit wider. I'm going to make sure it's centered by position, posi clicking position. Drag this in a little bit, just so it's a bit more equal. And then click center again to position it. And I think that almost looks like a bit more eye-catching. It's almost like a pyramid from the widest part at the top to narrow at the bottom. Um, and I think that looks pretty pretty cool. Now in the back background, we can leave as white. Um, sometimes I think an off-white looks quite nice as well. So just by going to the color tab and by clicking the background, going to the color tab, we can click the, the colors here. I can start with the purple, and I know that that doesn't look quite good, but it allows us to know where it is in their color scale here. And what I could do is bring it back um, to close to white up here, and you can see we can get almost that off-white purple color, uh, which might look good. Again, if you prefer the white, you might prefer that, but I think slightly off-white um, color looks cool as well. So we've got this kind of lavender poster that we've created. Now, of course, you can add some more elements here, but I think um, sometimes uh, more uh, less is more and um, so I'm going to leave that as it is and just like that with Canva we've created a totally free eye-catching printable poster that you can put in your Etsy store to sell now in terms of um, saving this all we need to go now to share and you just need to go click download now you can change the file type um, for J JPEGs and um, that will be the best for sharing Unfortunately, without a Canva Pro, you can't change the size um, and the quality. Um, so sometimes the best quality with, for free is using a PDF print. And it says here, best for printing. So that's probably the, the how you want to save it. 
Um, so all you need to do now is click save. Just like that, we've saved our PDF. So before we upload this onto Etsy, we do want to make a, a, a mock-up just so we can show what our product is um, to our clients um, and upload it onto our listing. Um, so to do that, best thing to do is go back onto the home page and create a brand new design. Now Etsy will recommend a minimum 2,000 pixel size width. Um, so with that in mind, we can type that in. So 2,000 and for height, let's go for 1,500 and then click create new design. And here we have our image. So what you can do now is go to Google search and find a mock-up that you can use yourself. Uh, I found this one here. Um, so what we can do is use this. So I'm gonna just scale this up so it's the right size. Now what I'm going to go is back to my poster, click share and then download it as a JPEG. What I can do is just drag and drop this into here and it will upload here onto the upload tab here or you can click upload and then browse yourself and here we have our poster. Now it's just a case of um, dragging it to the size of the poster so it looks like it actually is a poster. Okay, cool. And there we have it. We've replaced it on and now we just need to share this and save this as well um, as a PDF or JPEG and we can upload this onto our Etsy listing. So guys, that's the end of the tutorial. Hopefully you've found this um, helpful. Um, if you have done, please make sure that you like, comment and subscribe as we'll be making more tutorials just as you ask. Um, so please ask away in the comments if you have anything I'd like, uh, like to go over. Uh, but thank you uh, so much for watching guys.